was not in terms of saying, was any hating God, and you know, it's all the like it is, and then, you can't, you know, I'm yelling at that, you know, 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 you das war es mit Slagier, das ist Scott, der Jünger, der Hahn, wollte die Hähnige, die Zeit, die Hähnige, die Zeit, 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 and I'm going to let him do some introductions, and then we're going to start in here to kick this off. Come up, go home, and uh, as, a, as a little guy, 10, 11 years old, we used to go out, and uh, it was hard work harvesting chicken pen. As you know, the burr gets a little sticky, and uh, a lot of times we went barefooted back then, and uh, didn't have many clothes on at all. <laughs> and we'd, we'd gather up these chicken pens in a, in a fruit jar or a bucket or Eight pound lard bucket I carried a lot back in the day, and uh, and we had a little game we played. I'm not sure if anybody has heard of it, but and I don't know where it come from or where it started, but we called it Hully Gully. I don't know. Has anybody ever heard of Hully Gully? My gosh. Okay, I, I'm with family here. It looks like. But the way I remember Hully Gully is I would come up to somebody and I would have cheeky pins in my hand and we'd kind of do the Hully Gully whatever. And I try to guess how many they had, and if I guess, I guess the number, then I got their goodies. So, and you know, later after the big trees left, we'd be out cutting wood and stuff for the winter, and we'd find an old stump where the where the the old tree had had fell and everything, and there'd be shoots coming up from it or sprouts or whatever. They'd be some two or three inches in diameter, lots of times, and maybe eight or ten foot tall. And we would cut those because they made good starter wood or kindling for our for our heat stoves. And we called it popcorn because it popped all the, you know, it popped a lot, but it burned good. But uh, uh, you can tell from a few of the things I've mentioned that I, I know that you, now in Adair County, there might be a hill or a little spot where there was lots of cheeky pin trees, and the next ridge over there wouldn't be a single one. So they were just spotty. But there were several in Adair County, and I miss them. And uh, um, it's kind of like buckeye trees, kind of like pawpaws. You know, pawpaws are scattered around here and there. But uh, I was in the woods a lot when I was a kid, following my grandpa many, many miles, and uh, tried to learn uh, about nature and all. I became a member of your, of your group back there this morning. Um, I, I'm really interested in what you're doing. I wish we could. Uh, somehow get them back into this part of the world. And uh, Jeff Simpson's house is not too far from where we're at now. Uh, the guy that I was telling you about that has those, those new trees that are, that, are, that are raising. But uh, I thank you for coming. I thank you for the work you're doing. I'm very interested and I'll, I'll try to stay in touch and, and stay up to speed. But uh, welcome to our country. Thanks for coming. Mr. Wood, uh, Dennis and Patrick, if you can come back up here. We have a little token of thanks for y'all that we'd like to give you. It's not much, um, so if you're expecting a lot, you're going to be disappointed right here. But uh, what we'd like to do, um, on behalf of those, our Chinka Pen Foundation, I actually have two things for you, and uh, you're going to have to arm wrestle who likes the best color. These are special made-up hats, and you can take one of those on the front. It says, those are Chinka Pen Foundation. On the back of it, uh, it says Saving an American Treasure, and uh, we used to say Saving an Ozark Treasure, but it's everywhere. It was in Oklahoma and a little bit all over. And during the meeting today, if you will uh, watch this, visit everyone, you will see that uh, what you talked about a while ago, hoping it's being brought back, it's taking place right now. And so we've got a lot of really good stuff to share with everyone. And uh, also, too, I have uh, to keep you organized right here. Um, I didn't have you two gentlemen's names, so I didn't write this, but Patrick, I've got a, uh, a neat little uh, nifty calendar. It says a world of thanks, and I've got one for 2016. Got some pen for you. We send this out to memberships, 
And uh, as a token of thank you, I want to give to you. It's also got uh, real neat inspirational sayings in there uh, for anyone that's trying to do something that may be going against the grain of what other people think can be done. And I've got uh, actually one here for you as well, Joe. Thank you, sir. And uh, Dennis Six Killer, I'm going to say it in English because I can't repeat it in Cherokee. And we appreciate you doing that prayer too. Thank you both, or all three of you, very much. Very much. Uh, we had a, another gentleman that was wanting to be here, Mr. Kenneth Ruark. Some of y'all may remember him. Uh, Kenneth could not make it. Um, he's very sick, very ill, could not make the car drive over here from Missouri. So we had a person from uh, Oklahoma speak about how important the trees were. And then next we've got um, a person from uh, that's lived in Missouri mainly, but now is back in Arkansas. And uh, Mr. Harold Adams, would you come up here at the front? Oh my gosh. Anyway, 
he goes out and uh, serves him. Wound up, am I correct, I think, finding his chief pen to his southwest of Springfield? Uh, we're, we're up to about 34. About 34 right now. Yeah, okay. So he finds this tree producing some nuts and come back and tells me I found a cheeky pen. And so, well, <laughs> you know, um, that's a great matter up here. It took a little while for me to let that soak in. I couldn't believe it. Whenever you're around, when cheeky pens are producing like those you see on the table here, you can go out and every fall and uh, pick them up and they disappear. So I, I he came back and told me he's got this chinky pen. So okay, I finally he got some nuts and planted them, and of course they're producing now. And I've got some some that are oh, excuse me, this tall now. Some of law and I, the deer around Deer, Arkansas, they're they're growing. We planted them this spring early, and they're they're doing good. And I hope a lot more of you that are in this are doing the same thing. I appreciate what you're doing. I, I it's a, a little bit like a, seeing a, a, a dead person resurrected. The <laughs> trees, you know, I, it, I couldn't, this guy right here done a lot of work in this. And I, like I said, all I down to stoke. <laughs> what I'm doing right now, and but this guy did did that and then more. So I appreciate that, Steve, and to all of you that are working. And it was a, it was good to live back when there were a lot of chicken pens. We'd go out each fall, and my dad would take us out, and my mother, and uh, pick up chicken pens for the winter. Sit before our open fireplace and crack chinky pens and throw the holes in the fire, and eat the goodies. And that every winter that goes on, we lived back at that time, everyone had put wood and with open fireplaces and just do it and sit in front of that fireplace and chew on those chinky pens through the winter. And so I thank you all for being here and what you're doing, and I hope you keep it up. I, I don't know if this will probably be my last meeting with you all, but I've kind of been around a little bit and probably won't make it too much longer, and I don't worry about it. <laughs> so, I'm glad to be here, and I'm proud all of you are, and thank you for it. So here's our friend Steve. Yeah. Uh, Harold, uh, Harold doesn't know it. Uh, he went to a lot of trouble to come over here and uh, uh, Beer and, uh, and Ver Bertie. Right. I'm saying that. Berlin. Okay, Berlin, okay. And uh, we appreciate y'all bringing them over here. They come a long way just to speak today. But to me personally, having you here, that means so much to me. And we've got a little surprise for you you don't know about. Uh, this is a, uh, a piece of wood that's made out of chinka pin wood. That's chinka pin wood right there. And uh, turn that around if you would. Look at the front of that. And on it, it's got your name misspelled. <laughs> and uh, we're going we're gonna to correct this. And uh, anyhow, this is a, a presentation from all of us to you for inspiring all of us to do what we're doing. You know what? It's getting to be more and more common, and uh, so. But you inspired all of us. So, in fact, your name badge. If you look at it, you're the only one that says this. It says the person uh, responsible for why we are all here. You're the only person with a name badge like that. <laughs> Thank you.